the most mad Dan has ever been at me was back when he first started, when uh, we built the the iconic massive 100 battery vape. And he kept trying to get me to go do a fitting because they were building like a a vest. Hey, Alfredo. And I was like, well, why do I need to go do a fitting? Like, I've just got a normal body. Why don't you fit it to yourself? And so he says, okay, whatever. But he kept asking me. I was like, dude, I don't want to go down there. And so when it comes time to record the video, we're out on Hollywood Boulevard and I've got the giant vape on. And by the way, nobody told me that this thing weighed like 75 pounds. It was unruly. It was unmanageable, dude. It was so freaking heavy. Here, let me show you guys the picture I'm talking about. Just to set the mood a little bit here. Yeah, so this is the scene where where Dan got super pissed at me. Or I got super pissed at him, too. We kind of had a... This was like our big... Our one big, like, conflict, I would say, in our five-plus years of working together. I put on this giant vape for the first time. And the fucking vest that they attached onto it was not strong enough to hold this massive 70-pound vape. And... <clears throat> it immediately broke. The strap broke the second I put on. And I was like, dude, like, did y'all not? And I was like, well, okay, this video's fucked. Like, how are we, we're not even able to shoot this video now. Which would be horrible, because I just spent like ten, $15,000 on all this shit. And if I don't actually get to make this video and post it when it's due, I'm just going to have spent $15,000 on this dog shit. So I was like, bro, did you not, like, test this? Like, this thing, it was super flimsy. And I was like, this is obviously wasn't going to work. Like, what were you guys doing? <clears throat> and then Dan got super pissed at me. He's like, dude, that's why I kept, I kept telling you to come and try it on. <clears throat> and then I said to him, well, what, what do you, what do you don't, you can't, you didn't realize, like, you're supposed to go there and f see if it, you know, like, you couldn't tell that this thing was shit. Dan was going to kill me. He was pissed, bro. You know, I think I was right. I'll be real. I think I was right in that one, Dan. I don't know if you have, if your opinion on that changed over the years. Dan, do you have any thoughts about uh, who was right in that situation? But we were all... We were all really inexperienced, so obviously our communication and our understanding is much better now. Me and Dan work very well together. How was I wrong? Dan was supposed to go there and try it on. Like, like if I, what would be the difference if I went in there and tried it on? I'd be like, yeah, this this vest sucks. It's not it's not good enough. If Dan, what Dan can't do that, you know what I mean? Well, I know you guys are going to vote for Dan. I'm not doing a poll. Screw you guys. No poll. Bad poll. I'm wondering if Dan's watching. Dan. Yeah, but we got really mad at each other. And then, but we, we actually worked. It was fine. Actually, so Dan did save the day, though. Because the strap broke right here. And he ran down to like a CVS or something and came back with a bag of zip ties and we put in like 10 zip ties where it broke and that actually held it for the whole day and that that was on that was a dan fix so he saved the day dan says he went and tried it on twice and it was fine well so so there you go how could how could i have saved it me going there and trying out would have made a difference he said, also, if you had tested it, it would have broke then, and we would have fixed it at that point instead of breaking it while out there. Why would it have broken? I was like the same size as you. I wasn't like this massive cow. So if you went there and tried it on, why would it have broken when I was there? I don't understand the logic. He, was, he says it wasn't fitted properly to you? Oh, come on. It was like a tent. We're, we're like the same size. What does fitting have to do with the strength of the... It, it wasn't... 
rated for that much weight. I love that we're hashing this out now. Yeah, but Dan Dan saved the day, and then we kind of we uh, you know worked it out, and that was kind of the only time we've ever actually been pissed at each other. I think Dan gets mad at me sometimes, but he he gets over it. Not that serious. Dan would be the one to ask that question. He gets mad sometimes when I push it, push things too far. Dan gets get Dan gets afraid the show's gonna get banned and they're all gonna lose a job. I would never do that though. Dan, you should know that if the show ever really did get banned, I would give you all a very generous severance. And also, that's not happening. Zero strikes. And also, zero strikes. And I'm pretty sure if we got banned on YouTube, we probably moved to, like, I don't know, our own platform. Dan says, I only get mad because I love, like, a protective parent. 